Hey Burners, I'm here with the genius behind Switch Nutrition, Greg. Thanks for being here. He knows everything about supplements, every ingredient, all the nuances. So it's really exciting that he's here. And with all these fantastic products that you've formulated, we've just got in front of us your favourite product it of is. the lot, Easy. Vitality Switch. Yep, 100%. Now, just out of interest, in the range, um, I know um, from a little birdie that Adrenal Switch is your number one seller. Yes. What's your number two seller? It's vitality. vitality. Yeah. Okay, interesting. And, some, and actually some months it will move ahead. You think it will overtake? It will. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, look, you know, those are the two biggest issues facing civilization right now, or modern civilization. Number one, stress. Adrenal switch. Yep. And number two, or arguably vitality, which we'll talk about in a minute. But, oh, with stress uh, as well. Yeah, abs absolutely. Yeah. And the biggest other issue is micronutrient deficiency. Okay, in an overfed society, we have micronutrient deficiencies mm -hmm. because our food system's letting us down. People are trying hard, but unfortunately, the way food is grown, the way food is stored, doesn't have the nourishment it used to have when you know, granddad did it in the backyard, you know, grew it in the right. backyard. Yeah, so. picked it, ate it straight away. 100%. Mm. Yep. One of my biggest issues with food is, well, number one, uh, most of the food that is grown today is sprayed with pesticides. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea behind pesticides is to kill bugs, right? Yeah, right. Which is fine on a plant, but when you eat that plant and it goes into your gut. The pesticide's still on there. Correct. Ah. And what's in your gut? Bugs. 100%. Mm. Yeah. Microbiome contains trillions of bacteria, which are very helpful for your body. In fact, certain of the, uh, these bacteria help produce vitamins and enzymes and hormones that we're incapable of producing, that we need to not only survive, but thrive. And if you start killing them off indiscriminately with pesticides that is covered in your food, or you're actually going to be causing issues with the gut. You're going to be killing them. And these days, people are talking about gut health more and more and more. Why? Because it's, it's getting important. worse. Yeah, and it's getting worse. 100%. Yeah. So we wanted to formulate a product like Vitality Switch, which would help improve the gut microbiome, help balance the, the good and bad bacteria of the, of the gut the way it used to be, and help provide a diversity of foods that you probably wouldn't get on your normal, everyday Australian plate. Uh, things like chaga, reishi, turkey tail, astragalus. Funny they, mushrooms, aren't they? They are, yeah. yeah and and one serving of Vitality Switch is equivalent to eight serves of fruits and vegetables and antioxidants, vitamins and minerals, one serve. Is that why we get so many FIFO workers buying this product? Yeah, probably, <laughs> yeah. because they're just not getting the nourishment from their food. Yeah. And, and again, you know, we get a lot of people that you know, will have a meal and when I'm asking people about the, the food they eat, I say, where do you get your protein from? They've got it nailed. Where are you getting your fats from? I've got that sorted. Where are you getting your micronutrients from? That's a good question. Mm. Yeah, it's the micros that make the macros magic. In order for these macros to work, we have to have the micronutrition there to do it. In fact, if you don't get enough micros, your body will think it's starving and it will keep your hunger signals on. Ah, so if you can get micronutrients, you'll you be get, less hungry. You'll be more satiated. And right. you need to be able to digest and absorb those micronutrients. So that's why we add in digestive enzymes and probiotics. We looked at over 170 published studies on probiotics. We found three out of 170 studies that were replicatable in humans, and it's those three probiotics that we ended up with in here. Right, okay. So we've got Saccharomyces boulardii, Bacillus coagulans, and Lactobacillus rhamnosus. So those three particular strains are incredibly efficacious in humans and will help to really balance the gut microbiome. Excellent. Which is really, really important. Uh, we've got Superfood Greens blend in here. Um, one thing that I notice is you've got all the nutritious greens, okay. but you didn't have the two that I see in everything. Yeah. Barley grass and wheat grass. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. So you, why aren't they in there? You don't eat grass. You're human. Okay? You're not a cow. You're not a sheep. You're not a pig. You don't eat grass. Humans have never eaten grass. The only reason companies use barley grass and wheat grass is it's a cheap it's a way to get it chlorophyll. Okay. Um, so we use food sourced, human food sourced ways of getting that chlorophyll. That green, and and yeah. one way of doing that is through the matcha. Okay, so matcha contains no less than 63% more antioxidants than normal green tea. Mm -hmm. um, so when plants. That's a Japanese green tea. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So when plants. Well, plant leaves are green, right? And the reason they're green is because they contain chlorophyll. And the idea behind chlorophyll in a leaf is that it will extract the energy from the sun and help the plant grow. So to, for a plant to get energy, it needs chlorophyll. The greener the leaf, the more chlorophyll it contains. So if you grow something in a shaded conditions where it has less exposure to sunlight, it will create more chlorophyll because it's trying to get more energy from the limited sunlight exposure that you're giving it. And that's the way matcha green tea is grown. It's grown in shade 
degraded conditions. Mm -hmm. And it's only picked at a certain time of the year and it's always grown in the most fertile volcanic soil. So down in, in the southern highlands of Japan is where we get our matcha and it's picked through ceremonial processes and blessed by Buddhist monks. Is it actually? It legit is. <laughs> so this is a ceremonial grade matcha green tea and you would need 15 handfuls of wild blueberries to match the antioxidant power of the matcha alone in this product. Really? Okay. Absolutely. Wow. And the chaga, the chaga mushrooms we're talking about. So again, when you live in or food is grown in really arid conditions, when it's tough conditions, plants will produce a lot of antioxidants for their own survival. So the antioxidants is what helps the plant thrive and survive in tough conditions. So if you have a really good growing season, allegedly growing season, what I mean loosely by that is lots of rain, lots of sunlight. Oftentimes those plants grown in those sorts of conditions will not produce a lot of antioxidants because it was easy. Mm. So when it's tougher, they'll produce a lot of antioxidants. So in the case of chaga, it doesn't get any tougher than this, Paul, because you're growing chaga on the side of birch trees in the Nordic top part of Finland in the Arctic Circle. It's if, cold. If you go any further north, nothing grows. Mm. So it's legit the, the last thing to grow. So in that sort of condition, the, the antioxidant power of chaga is actually gram for gram the most antioxidant rich food source known to mankind. Goji, acai, 600 nakai. times more than goji or acai. Wow, okay. So you're talking very powerful antioxidants. You don't need a lot of this to really make a difference. And we use a patented pheno chaga, which is a 200 to one extract ratio of the most effective or antioxidant rich chaga on the planet. Wow, okay. Pretty impressive. And that, so that's in the mushroom blend. It is. What else can we talk about? Because there's a lot of ingredients in this. There product. is, yeah. And I guess it's just about providing a, a holistic approach. Um, in many ways, the, the formula for Vitality Switch was created uh, out of necessity in my family uh, because Nicole was actually using a greens formula. She was using a digestive enzyme, marine collagen, uh, probiotic, a multivitamin, a food-based multivitamin. And so she had about five or six different products on the so go. who's Nicole? Ah, Nicole is my partner, oh. yes. Yeah. Um, so she is, is my rock, she's my, my muse, and um, it was really uh, Nicole that said, hey, we need to make a greens because I'm you know, buying all these other products. And so we decided we'd make one that's a little different. I don't think there's another greens on the planet that's added marine collagen to their product. Mm. Uh, and that was intentional because well, we didn't want to be just different, we wanted to be better and we wanted to help people more. And marine collagen is uniquely different to bovine or porcine collagen, which is beef or pig collagen, because it has a very small molecular weight. So it's 200 times smaller than those other types of collagen. And it can actually get into the tight junctions of the intestinal tract and help heal the leaky gut. Oh, okay. So we, we talk about this leaky gut or gut permeability, which is where our gut should be nice and tight, and that's why they're called tight junctions. But when we get this leakiness of the gut line, large particles of food or toxins um, can get into the bloodstream and that can set off an autoimmune inflammatory response which is really the starting point of, of all disease or disease in the body um, so we're trying to help heal that so that we can keep the good stuff you know out of our bloodstream and pass it through and poop it out uh, but if they if we let that get leaky then things that shouldn't get in can toxins that are in our food or sprayed on our food, et cetera, can get into our bloodstream and cause you know, some serious problems. Wow. So the idea behind Vitality Switch was let's heal it, let's help improve the, the gut microbiome as a whole, provide the diversity for the, the good probiotic to feed on, um, and let's provide you know, the digestive enzymes, the antioxidants, the vitamins, the minerals that's just missing from food these days. Uh, you know, if you go back two, three hundred years ago, the level of stress and toxicity our ancestors had probably was matched by the level of nourishment in our food system. The level of nourishment is plummeting in our food and the level of stress and toxicity going is going up. Yes. So there's this big gap. You've got stress and toxicity up here, you've got nourishment down here, you've got to get it from somewhere. Yeah, let's talk about that serotonin quickly. So, you know, we mm. said right at the beginning that adrenal switch is great for lowering stress and helping the body relax. 85% of the serotonin, which converts in the brain into melatonin and dopamine and helps with the calming, relaxing effect of the body, is made in your gut, okay? And if your gut is out of balance or out of whack, you're 
production of that serotonin plummets. So when people have poor gut function or gut dysbiosis, they tend to have uh, you know, higher levels of anxiety, stress and depression. So if we can get good gut function, arguably vitality switch would be long term the best strategy for managing stress and, and anxiety. Short term adrenal switch will absolutely calm people down. Yes, the um, herb in there will do that. Yeah. yeah, the ashwagandha will give you a calming, the magnesium will calm. There's magnesium in here too, naturally occurring through all the chlorophyll and plant matter that we're using. So so this is all about the underlying, giving you the micronutrients necessary to optimize your health, well-being and performance. And then you can start adding in the products that you want to you know, improve your fat burning or improve your lifting capacity or improve your sex drive or, or you know, testosterone or whatever it is you're looking to do. But really, the foundation of everybody's you know, nutritional plan or supplement plan should be a, a good green supplement like Vitality. When would you recommend someone take this product? So because it contains digestive enzymes, if you have it away from food, it might make you hungry. If you have it with food, it'll help you digest the food you're eating. So we always encourage people to have it with food. And if they're really trying to reset their gut balance, we would suggest having two to three serves for the first five days, every day. So two to three serves a day for five days. And then after that, they can maintain on one a day. There's no special diet they have to follow. We don't find that, that people tend to adhere to a supplement plan if they have to follow a specific diet. Of course, if they remove gluten and dairy and other pro-inflammatory foods that are not going to be helpful for the gut, they'll see a, a, a better result. But we want people to be able to you know, move the needle on the existing diet that they've got. They're, they're eating the best they can, but they don't want to you know, deviate from that too much. This is just an addition on, uh, to improve their overall health. Awesome. Appreciate it. Killer. That is a really in-depth explanation it's a, it's of Vitality an, Switch. But I, have, but I have a feeling that you could talk for another hour on this. <laughs> I yeah. love this product, honestly. Flavours is something we should mention too, my favourite. Yes, well, typically greens, yeah, not great. people don't look forward to greens, but they taste like sludgy seaweed yep. or, or grass. Or lawn clippings. That's yep. right. So we've avoided the lawn clippings by not putting barley grass and wheat grass in there. Winner. Yep. Uh, so there's definitely not that grassy taste to it. Uh, our number one selling flavour would be the mango passion fruit. Yes, and I can attest to it. Delicious. It doesn't even taste like a greens. Like most people no. that drink that, if, they, if you blindfolded them, they'd think they were drinking a juice. Because it is green, so you don't use any artificial colours or Not any dyes. Yeah. No. The spirulina, the, the, the leafy greens are, are bringing in the, the chlorophyll colour. from the matcha. Mm -hmm. It's all bringing in that colour. Um, my favourite? What do you reckon? It's got to be the newest one. Cucumber lime. Cucumber lime. Yeah. Unreal. It yeah. is. Really refreshing. Oh, so refreshing. But the lemon ginger, the OG flavour, um, yes. is, is, a, is a winner. Um, it just it tastes like health. Like you just feel amazing after that flavour. Matcha mint is a really refreshing mint flavour. And for those people that, again, if you don't like a greens and you're not one of those people that goes to the local hipster cafe to get a greens juice, you're probably going to like the chocolate, the chocolate yeah. or the mango passion fruit. They're the mm. least greens-like flavours, um, but all of them are really enjoyable. As far as greens go, like when we get people that don't like greens trying it, they're like, oh my God. I'm on, on the bat. I'm jumping on a green product. I'm on product. a green yeah. product now. Yeah, this nice. is awesome. All right. Well, I really appreciate it. And you can see the passion on how much he loves this product. Clearly his favourite in the range. Um, I hope you got something out of that, Burners. Uh, if you have any questions, just whack a comment to, in the comment section to this video and we'll get right back to you. But um, we'll catch you next time. Ciao. Appreciate all the information. Thank you. Good appreciate knowledge it. bombs. Awesome. Cheers.